Hi guys and welcome to another quick video tutorial here on the Kiki Manny Photography and Orms blog. My name is Manny and in today's tutorial I'm going to talk again about Photoshop Basics and Tools Part 8. If you haven't viewed any of the beginnings please fall back and view those. In today's tutorial I'm pretty much just going to cover quickly about the pen tool. I'm going to skip the text tool because I think this is pretty basic and very easy. Then path selection tool and direct selection tool. So we're going to talk about these two tools and the pen tool and all its different options in here. Alright, so let's get started. On my original layer I'm just going to say Command J or Control J to duplicate that. Double click on here and we're going to rename that to Retouch Layer. Working very constructive again. Okay, now on my Retouch Layer I'm basically just going to select a different area here, just over there. And now with my pen tool, I just want to cut out that eye really quickly. So how to do that is just pen tool, select that over here. And directly you guys will notice already our application menu has changed again. So in here some presets. Then I just want to have a normal pass um, over here, pen tool or freeform pen tool if you want to. If that's easier for you, I mostly work just with the pen tool. You can also have different shapes in here. Play a little bit with this. Auto add and delete off please and then over here you can have a different options again like with the marking tool add to paths or subtract or intersect or even exclude overlapping path areas. So let's get started and quickly just work with the pen tool. Basically it's very simple at the beginning it's still confusing I know. Um, basically what you do is just tap once so you created a block and now with the next step you directly position the next line. So say for instance if I'm going to place it over here then it will directly create a nice direct line and I can actually go on. Now I don't want that, I want to create a nice round shape around here. So what I'll do just to get rid of these other points again is hit backspace. Okay, if you hit double backspace it will delete everything. Okay, tap again over here in the corner okay and now I'm gonna tap over here in the corner and still hold down my mouse or I'm working with a vacuum continuous foreboard so with my pen I'm still holding down and then just dragging around I'm still holding it and going in a circular motion just to show you guys what it does you can go left and right up and down to either f turn those areas more or less now I'm gonna just make it a little bit tinier and a little bit smaller over here say for instance I want to have a little bit of that dark areas okay drop it over there and now I drop my mouse but now just bear in mind the next step if I'm going to click it over here it's going to take a really round shape so I don't really want that I want to keep the flow going with this other area so I'm going to say command Z and now with alt hold alt you directly go into this new mode convert point tool and now you're taking this point and you're just shifting it over to here and now this means that your new selection or new path will directly go into this direction so you can create a nice round shape. You can also use shortcuts while you're working with a pen tool like I showed you before you can hit alt and then you also get into that direct pen mode. So you can just move it over here again and now I'm going to select a small area as you can also see the small round shape there next to my pen tool is appearing. So this basically means if I complete my path now that it will be a completed path and you are done. So I'm going to select in here but still hold it and then move it again a little bit like that and just move my area until I'm happy with it and then I'm going to drop it and now I've created a path and everything is done. So how I mostly work with this is just right click into here then make a selection, a new window will pop up and in here feathering if you want to have feathering, anti aliases I want that out, feathering either to 0 or 1% sometimes that little bit of feathering is needed. Okay so keep it to 0% now and say OK and now I've got a nice round a selection of the, around my eye. I can either duplicate, I can fill this, I can cut this, I can do whatever I want to with it. So I'm going to say Command Z, Command V for just duplicate paste that. So now I've just got the eye and I can just work on for that. If I want to I can also create some um, adjustment layers, whatever I want to do with that. I just quickly want to go back into my closed path here. So I just went some steps back in my history panel. So with this as well, while I'm still busy with the pen tool, I can actually go into my direct selection of the tool with path again. And in here, I can just select this and now I'm back into the path mode. And now I can still tweak my paths a little bit. So say for instance, if you want to tweak stuff again, you can just move your whole path selection around again and just tweak that a little bit. 
So this tool is really the best way of cutting things out, of merging st stuff in or whatever you want to do. Path tool and uh, the pen tool is the best. Then also if you have more paths, say for instance if we're just going to create a quickly with a free transform pen tool, we create a free pen a free path so basically we just drawn around here and it's a very dodgy weird looking path so say for instance you've got a few paths say over here and around the ring or whatever say you've got hundreds of them then this tool comes in handy path selection tool you can directly just draw over here and it directly selects the path you were working on so say for instance you got five different paths in this small area but you just want to select this so you can just go directly over here and we'll create and select this this path and then you can still move it or turn it or whatever you can go back into direct selection mode and you can just tweak your things again very very handy as well alright so back to the pen tool quickly in the pen tool option one more thing you can just apply more options over here and say for instance you made a new select a new path and you want to add to that path then you can just go to add HR pointer and you can just go over here and drag these things again and create new paths. If you hold Alt again, you can also create a new um, direction area with round shapes and and and. You can do this so much options how to play with this. If you're going to go to delete archer, you can also just tap on these archers and they will pretty much just delete some round archers. And now you can go back again into convert point and you can shape your whole areas again and or hold alt and just move these areas around again so this is basically my quick tutorial on how to work with the pen tool and also path selection tool i hope this tutorial helped you guys a little bit if you still have any questions feel free to email me to team at mannyphotography.co.today i'm glad to help you guys with your questions my name is manny and see you all next week in our few last tutorials about photoshop basics and tools thank you and bye bye